Chris, thank you. We begin with campaign 2020. President Donald Trump waking up in South Florida this morning. Our cameras were there as the president's motorcade rolled into Trump National Doral last night, shortly after Air Force One touched down at Miami International Airport before 1130. Tonight, I stand before you to officially launch my campaign for a second term as president of the United States. The president arrived in South Florida after officially kicking off his 2020 campaign in Orlando. This morning, the state of Florida is at the center of campaign 2020. Last night's event sounded very similar to the rallies the president has continued to hold since he's taken office. CBS 4's Real Crane is live in Doral with more on what's on the president's agenda for today. Real, good morning. Good morning, Mary Bell and Lauren. On the agenda for the president last night was most certainly to rally some of his most loyal supporters. But on the schedule also is fundraising, which is the reason why the president is waking up in Miami-Dade in Doral this morning. Air Force One touches down at Miami International Airport. The president waves to supporters. A short time later, CBS 4 there as the president's motorcade rolls into Trump National Doral. Hours earlier, thousands gave President Trump a warm welcome in Orlando. I'm thrilled to be back in my second home. That's what it is. It's my second home. In many cases, I think I could say it's my first home. You want to know that? The president officially kicked off his 2020 re-election campaign at Amway Center Tuesday night. It's about four years to the day he announced he was running for president. He rallied his base. Our radical Democrat opponents are driven by hatred, prejudice, and rage. They want to destroy you, and they want to destroy our country as we know it. The president has not been a fan of recent polls showing him lagging behind top Democratic hopefuls like Vice President Joe Biden and Vermont Senator Bernie Sanders. He didn't mention the polls, instead urging his supporters to vote in 2020. And as long as you keep this team in place, we have a tremendous way to go. Our future has never, ever looked brighter or sharper. The president touched on popular themes like building a wall, curbing illegal immigration, but he also wanted help from his supporters to choose a slogan for the reelection campaign. Keep America great. The campaign is expected to roll out a secure app that people can use to organize, donate, and get out the vote. And we will make America great again. Thank you. Well, there were thousands of people in Orlando last night to greet the president, a crowd size that the president made sure to make mention of during his speech. Meantime, again, he is here in Miami-Dade to fundraise for his reelection campaign. We're live in Doral this morning. Riel Creighton, CBS4 This Morning.